Okay, we're going to do a very quick update on the Thunder Child. As you can tell from looking at the video, I've put a basically a primer coat of paint on her. A um, couple of things to detail real quick. The nose section right here. This piece and this piece did not sit down flush with the ship. This corner right here was rounded off pretty bad. I had to do some fill work to fix that and it still looks a tad bit funny to me. I'm going to do some sanding and see if I can get that straightened up. One major issue, the model has a severe lack of symmetry to it. What I mean by that is the end of this piece did not line up with the end of this piece as you go left or right. They're pretty close right now because, well, I did some fill work to get them there. Some sculpting, if you will. Um, they don't line up in the back, and if you take a good eye to it, you can see from left to right that this end point here doesn't align with this end point here. Let me raise that up vertically and in better light, and you guys, you can see it in the video. But if we go up to the weapons bay, you can see that those do line up. Okay, so there that's a major issue to me. And it's not an alignment problem on my part because the two engineering booms here notch into the side of the ship real tightly. They only fit in there one way and in only one orientation. So this is a problem with the mold itself, not the model. Second, on this side right here, I don't know if the thing's going to focus if I zoom in too much. Yes, it does. My airbrush started sputtering. I'm new to the airbrush, and I'm not very used to it. And when it started sputtering, I did cut it off, but it already deposited quite a bit of paint on this side. I took a paper towel and wiped it off real quick. I don't know if I should have done that or not, but it was thick and globby, and now it's not. I'm pretty sure I can sand that out. It's not too awful to the touch. It feels pretty smooth to the touch. It just looks kind of rough right now. A uh, good time period with some sandpaper will work. One last thing before I go. This thing has had a lot of micro voids on it. More than I thought. I don't know if we can see them right here on the edge of the phaser strip. You can see them a little bit where I've tried to repair them. Um, this whole side over here was really, really bad. I still have a little bit of fill work to do on it, and that's what the primer was for, to show me where my fill work needs to be, where it's lacking. Um, on the underside, again, I had some voids, bad ones, along this edge here. If you know what you're looking for, you can still see them, but they're pretty gone by now. Um, there were little micro voids all along this edge. The nacelles, they had problems with, and you can kind of see it right here, with a little bit of roughness to the surface. But, and again, they're on the back of the model. You can see them here and here. I need to do a little bit more fill work on it to get rid of those and that little micro void right there. And there's one more micro void on the engineering bay to get rid of. I should be able to put a good base coat of paint on this thing, not primer coat, base coat of paint within the next day or two. And then we'll have another update when I reach that point. This is just a quick video.